paradoxically, the previous generation of aircraft is often the most convenient way of developing any future generation of flight systems. This Hunter, for example, has two completely separate and quite different control systems. First, there is the original and traditional direct manipulation of the aircraft's control surfaces by the pilot. But in the other seat, between the pilot and the control surface, there is a computer system known as active control or fly-by-wire, because the optimum control movements for any situation or manoeuvre can then be generated. Alternatively, a third very small side stick works by signalling forces instead of movements to the computer. By means of sensors in every part of the aircraft and a multiplex system of cross-correlation of signals, the computer continuously monitors and controls every aspect of the aircraft's response much faster and more comprehensively than any human brain. The key to the technique is in the control laws written into the computer software which governs the system. The main thrust of development is in devising and testing these laws for all conditions of flight. As in many other programs of research, work on active control follows the classic RAE pattern of taking mathematical simulation one stage further into flight simulation, this time with a pilot in the loop to provide informed feedback before trials in the air. I've got to climb up a bit. That sort of task where I require flowing sort of flying, that it was about to show up as a Further developments in ACT are being made in the collaborative demonstration program between RAE and British industry on an active control Jaguar aircraft. This Jaguar test brig is being used to investigate and prove the electronic and mechanical systems involved. Alright, I'm away. Except that I've got negative height on. Are you pressing the Especially reset the wrong button, instead of freeze? Better, yeah. Freeze instead of reset. Major advances have been made in the development of small but powerful actuators to operate the tailor-on control surfaces with the very high rates of response required for active control. The benefits of active control are improved handling characteristics in every area of the flight envelope and should dramatically ease the pilot's task in all operational flight regimes.